Hello everyone. Um, today we will learn how to read and write uh, from a file or to a file with using C++. First I would like to start with everybody uh, if you know already how to write to the console we use C out right and just like this you know what if you want to write to the uh, screen something you just say hello and if you want to use new line you add end line that's it when I run this you will see just it will print hello and nothing more this is good we know all these things but if I want to read from a file on a screen for example a person's birth year I will say just year so integer and if I want to get this I just put C out please enter the year and let's put like this and we will do C in right since we would like to put to whatever this from screen enter it into the here so look at this one C in is a like console in console in and C out console out console out or we can say this is C in you want to see the data coming from screen to inside or C out you want to see just print out to the screen so you can memorize like this so let's run this one and see we are we didn't print it yet to the screen but enter a year let me enter 2001 so it will print hello so we can print out to the screen same way see out you you were born and just that and then you continue to print <coughs> excuse me and line so I'm printing this year whatever the user entered so you may say we know all this stuff you know 2001 and says you born 2001 so it is not different than this if you understand this file read and write is very similar so I'm going to open one uh, my uh, solution explorer over here and I'm going to delete all these things so we will start from a fresh one so as you see I right click over here and open file and folder explorer I will delete all these things so I have just file IOCPP currently so what I'm going to do is come to resource files you don't have to do this you can drag and drop also but I'm going to add new item and utility and text file that I'm going to read let me put the name of this file input.txt now I created this input.txt let me put this input.txt just on the corner here it has nothing in here so I'm going to read this 2000 for example the birth year is 2005 a person's birth year so we, I'm going to read this information from file okay from this one currently I have nothing like that I'm going to put into the year this one but first before that I need one input file uh, include uh, one header include file stream okay so I need to uh, import uh, include this one so in order to uh, reach to this file open for reading I will be using input file stream you see this one came and this time I will be using to you know this is a variable name you are going to put our object name so we I will be using instead of C in console in I will use fin okay so I'll create my variable like file in as in this one console in so just to resonate with you a little bit let me put this a uh, little bit down here let's have this variable integer there and this one over here so when I do this I would like to open a file so I'll be using this fin dot open so it is uh, uh, requiring me to what file am I going to open just the name of the file over here input.txt so I will put just input.txt so now it should open you look at this one instead of asking user this one I'm going to comment out this and we are going to spit this to the screen but I didn't read it uh, instead of this C in look at all these things I'm going to comment out but look at this this line 
okay let me copy this line here instead of C I will just make this F filing and it will read this year uh, 2005 in here and then we will print you born in 2000 I'm not gonna enter anything from console let's see you born 2005 so neat right I didn't do much if you know how to read from console it is not different than that so you may say okay so put here a name okay you want to read for example I will read my name from here okay so I need another variable right string and I will say full name now I will be in order to read all these things I have to use get line right if you remember from the command uh, command line I need to use get line but get line is not working right now it's complaining because I didn't include string so I need to include string for get line I want to use so get line it needs two parameters it says where am I going to read this I will say read from fin means from file and put into the full name whatever you read okay now you will see in a second we will have a problem here so I'm going to run this okay I didn't print anything yet of course I would like to print also your name is your name is so I will just put here full name whatever the name is we are going to read let me put some section here output to console okay this time we are putting the console and reading from file so these things are just here to compare but get line is going to read this and we are going to print but we will have some problems here look at it doesn't give me your name is but this is sad why this is not working so for this when I read the year it reads the year but but there is a backslash n here new line it is still there when I read instead of Murat Winger it reads that one okay so for that after fin I will say just ignore one character okay which is backslash n so when I do this it will print all everything so it read read uh, the year and then ignore the backslash n over here which is invisible and I say get line fin it will get all everything you may say why did you do, didn't you use fin and like this greater than greater or angle bracket year I mean full name then it will get on numerat because I want to get everything over here so basically this is reading from file you that's it I'm done actually for this there are more stuff of course we can check whether file is open there we will we can uh, but I will continue this when I would like to do also outputting into the file it is very simple again so now we have this one right input file let me put over here this is not the best practice but I'm going to do output file stream and I, in this time you know instead of C out I will be using F out file out and I will say open and this time I will say output txt it is not it doesn't exist yet if you want you can check looking at here it is it doesn't exist yet so I will this it will going to create it by default it truncates if there is a file it opens and empty it it erases everything so look at the magic instead of C out I am going to put now F out my member my F out you will see on the screen in the console just as hello but rest will be dumped into the file instead of the console because I said file out F out you can have this name anything you can have long name right into the file read uh, I mean this one right into the file read from file you can have long names but I just wanted to resonate with C in and fin and C out with F out so you don't forget it so when I run this you don't see anything let's see in the resource I'm going to add existing item so here is the output file just click here whatever we are seeing on the console now it is in the file 
So if you want, you can look at this. Here is the output.txt and here it is. So if I'm going to delete the content of it and put some other junk and run again, okay, and go back to here, it says it's updated, reloaded, so it comes, it truncates. That is the writing to this console, I uh, did the file. So neat, right? When I was learning this, it was like so huge and complex things, but uh, now it becomes very easy. You may say, how can I check whether this input txt is, does exist? For example, now if I put here input1, which there is no input1.txt, when I run this, it will continue. And when I open this, it puts your junk. It didn't inform me. This is not a good practice. So what I'm going to do is, I can do this if, I can check like this, fin. It returns true or false if the object is created. I If not fin, okay, I can say see out. This is also not best practice. I'm going to put this one into some constant. Constant. Uh, string input file name I will put this one there okay let me cut this here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one because I want to use the same thing input file name nice input file name cannot be found backslash n semicolon and return and this is I will return zero for example so if the file doesn't cannot be found now it is it is there we know it should for, work fine and this is all well and I'm going to put input one.txt which doesn't exist now it should print here console input one.txt cannot be found as you see I have a variable named this constant I'm using several places no magic uh, file uh, I mean repeating the same thing so that's now cool if you don't want to use this it is unreadable a little bit fin is open is a function so I have to have these braces if is not open do this it is the same thing exactly what we are doing so let me fix this and run this it is all perfectly fine now I can see this one. So that is it. But if you want to, f for what is that? When you are printing, if you want to uh, use IO manipulation to make this nicer look. And for example, this time, I, when I run this, these dots are not aligning like nicely like this. Using space is not suggested. So if you want to do that, you can use set W and you can set all these things with IO manipulation. It works perfectly, beautifully in here too. That's all. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something and I didn't waste your time. Um, thank you. Have a good one.